let's get into our luxury unboxing. <laughs> I'm a wife, I'm a mom, I'm a content creator based in Birmingham, Alabama, but she's a Niger babe. Nigerian born, my channel is all things fashion, beauty, entrepreneurship, and luxury, as well as travel and pretty much anything you want to see. I'm a do. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, please think about hitting that subscribe button. I would love to have you as part of my community. If you are one of my regular lovies, Welcome back. Right now, I am wearing an Ajay dress. This dress has been all over the world, on planes, on bikes, on hikes, at proms, everywhere. It is a hit dress. I've had it for a while now. It's so fun. It has the back out. I will, I think I have a video of me in the dress. The dress is cute. It's true to size. Ajay sizes run. Maybe that's what I need to do. Maybe I'll do a dress on Ajay because I have a lot of their dresses and I'll talk about the fit, the look and everything. So comment down below if that's something that you would love to see. Ajay is an Australian brand. They make hyper feminine dresses that are so cute, that are great for events. So let's get into the unboxing Right now, you already know if this is your first time here, we go straight into the sunglasses. So let's go into the first pair of sunglasses that I bought, which are from Tiffany. Tiffany and Co. are, they're really up and up their sunglass game. They have really come out with some beautiful sunnies. These ones are absolutely gorgeous. They are summer frames. I did buy them maybe middle of summer, so keep that in mind. But if you wanna get them, you can. I will link either the sunglasses or maybe a replica in the description box below. So these are the first pair. They are Tiffany & Co. I've already worn these. They are dirty, so please forgive me. One thing that bothers me is sunglass companies not giving all their sunglasses like cool names. This one is the Tiffany & Co. TF4197. That's it. It's like a serial number or like the number for somebody, you know, like your inmate number. I love the detail. I think this is why ooh, the box just fell. This is why I bought the sunglasses because of this little detail right here. And then on the side, you see the little detail as well. I just thought that was so cool. It's white with silver. Um, hardware it has a high bridge fit so it's gonna sit on your face just a little bit higher than most sunglasses now the website said that it's great for oval and round faces I do have like a sort of round face I have a high cheekbones so these are like perfect for me look at the details like these sunglasses are so gorgeous I love how the white kind of disappears to the side so it just feels like you have the acetate right here and then the black just continues to go on it is such a beautiful pair of sunglasses let's go ahead and try them on you yes come close queen oh my god look how gorgeous you look in these sunglasses they are just so beautiful they're acetate so they're a little bit heavier but again they're not super heavy but they do have some weight to them. I love acetate sunglasses because if I'm paying that type of money, I want it to be heavy. Like I don't want the sunglasses to jump out of my hand when the wind blows. I want it to feel substantial. I want it to feel heavy on my face. And again, I'll try it on just one more time. Again, it has a high bridge, so it sits up higher and it fits tight on your face which I love because you I don't have to worry about it like popping off if I look down um and my nose can breathe like the girls that wear their sunglasses and the, can somebody can somebody comment and let me know why why people do this why women do this again it's neither here or there I'm not judging you but why do people wear their sunglasses and it like cuts their nose? Like they'll wear it like right here and it cuts, it makes their, it makes them look like they can't breathe. Like I can't go off because if I started going out, if I, if I talked about the things that just like make me wonder why. Anyway, that's not what this is about. <laughs> You're trying to take me off track and we're not going to do that. But yeah. These sunnies are absolutely beautiful, great price, and 
yeah, you're gonna love them. I will link this Tiffany & Co. sunglasses down below. And if I find like something that feels and looks like it, I will also link that down below. But let's go on to the next pair of sunnies. The next pair, I did get a Nordstrom rack. So it is no longer like in circulation. It's Gucci, but as soon as I saw these sunnies, I knew I was going to buy them. I usually don't buy clear frames because I have like Chanel bags underneath my eyes. Actually, I have like coach bags, like they're heavy. And I just don't like clear frames because you can see the bags, you can see that I haven't slept. But these ones, mm, scrum dilly, hum, shuns, uh, uh, purr, purr. Look how, oh my God gosh the gold frames the metal is so thin it's a thin mint where's her waist is gone there's nowhere to be found it's so thin you can't even see it it just looks like these are indoor outdoor sunnies these are the sunnies that you can wear inside and people don't think you're a diva but then you can also wear them outside and just be just fine they're super clear they do sit on your face a little bit so beware if you have high cheekbones, honey, it's, it's going to be sapped on those cheekbones. But as good as you're going to look, you're not going to care. And then you're not going to have to take it off when you go inside. So it doesn't matter. Girl, let them sit on your cheeks. Your cheeks need to be sat on. <laughs> I'm going to delete that. But how gorgeous are these? I absolutely love them. They just fit my face so well. I feel like it's so effortless and it's seasonless. So you can wear them pretty much any time of the year. I wouldn't do winter, but I feel like spring, summer, even fall, you're good. And these sunglass brands that want to name their sunglasses, Inmate 35467, what are you doing with your life? These are the Gucci 63mm square sunglasses. I will put the Nordstrom Rack link down below if you want to buy it. But then I'll also find maybe something that looks like it. Clear frames are really in style. I know the Bottega Veneta's that are, I'll pop a picture, that are like all the rage. They're absolutely gorgeous. They're clear, but then they have like this orange tint to them or this I think it also comes in pink it has like this sort of shape to it as well I want those sunglasses so bad Amazon has like a replica so I might buy that first and see if I want to buy the actual ones but these ones gorgeous so come close come close oh my gosh you look like something no i'm just kidding you look absolutely gorgeous in these frames and the shape is just absolutely beautiful i love that it has nose guards on it can you see yep there it goes it has a nose guard on both sides as you can tell like i said it sits on your face so your makeup will get on the sunglasses but again it's indoor outdoor sunny so you never have to take them off and then when you get home you can worry about the makeup you won't care by then and you might meet your husband in these sunny let's go on to the next item and they are both no let's go on to the next item i was going to say they're both bags but they're not one is a bag and one is a pair of sandals i I'm a sandal girl. I used to be a heel girl and I'm still a heel girl, but at the end of the day, the older I get, the more I love comfortable sandals. I might do like my favorite sandal video, comment down below and let me know if that's something you would like to see, but I love a good pair of comfortable sandals. So I bought a pair. We're going to unbox it. It has not been unboxed yet, so we're going to look at it together, but let's get into the bag. I've already unboxed this bag. I love this bag. I wear this bag so much. It is very much an everyday bag. I'm going to put the unboxing to the side. But this bag is... Mm, they ate with this bag. Now, I have a Balmain bag. This orange bag right here is also Balmain. Balmain is not really an accessory brand that I, like, gravitate towards. But I bought this bag, hardly wore it. And then I saw this one right at the height of this summer, like a couple... Two, three months ago, I saw this bag and I said, Fumi, pepper your husband until he buys this bag for you. And it is gorgeous. They ate. This is the Balmain Bee Buzz bag. It is canvas and of course it has calf leather in the trimming and the handle as well. Let's come close. Let me see if I can get it to darken. It has gold hardware. The B is in gold hardware. 
um, everywhere on this bag is a work of art. Look at the stitching. I just want, let's come close. Like the Keebler elves stitch this. This is so, Santa's helpers stitch this. They spent hours on this stitching. This is such a gorgeous, gorgeous piece of bag. And when I tell you like it's an everyday bag, you don't really have to worry about babying it. Of course it's, it's, it's canvas and it is tan, so you do have to be careful. But when it comes to like wearing it every day, it's a very wearable bag. Since the handle, I love that the handle is also leather and it's easy to wipe off. Oh my goodness. It has feet on the bottom as well. So you don't, oh, have I taken, nope, I didn't even take the things off. And I've worn this bag so many times. I still have the plastic on the feet, but the feet is also gold hardware. I love bags with feet, so I don't have to worry about my leather getting messed up or me having to baby the bag because I will literally sit my bag in water. I don't care. Like, she can't be fussy. She has to be a utilitarian babe. Like, she can't be like, <laughs> my chest hurts, <laughs> my back hurts every time we travel. Honey, get to work and stop complaining. The bags that complain, leave them at home. You can't take them with you. This is the inside of the bag. It is absolutely so gorgeous. It has a lot of space. Like this bag is roomy. It also has a pocket and a sleeve so you can put your wallet inside of it. Now this fits a card holder, not a wallet, but it does have a clasp. So it's not a zippered section. It does clasp with a magnetic clasp. It also has a sleeve right here. I don't know if you guys can see this. There we go. Like a card sleeve. So it has the compartment right here for like a mini card holder. And then it has a sleeve right here for maybe your ID or your wallet. And then the inside is like a tote bag. There are no other sections. It's just a wide, it's a wide open space, honey. You can ride your horses in here. Okay, cattle's in the back in this bag. I love it. It also comes with adjustable straps if you want it to be a crossbody. I have worn it as a crossbody before. Again, look at that. Look at the stitch work on the handle itself. It's so gorgeous. It is adjustable. Look at the back of the handle. Okay, maybe I have this handle on wrong. Yeah, I do. There we go. Look at the handle. It is adjustable. You can see the B for Balmain right here on the hardware. And again, it is adjustable, so you can make it as short or as long. But with it not being adjusted, let's step back. It hits you. I mean, it hits you pretty far. I am five feet, and it hits me below, like, my upper thigh area. So without it being adjusted, it is a long strap. If you adjust it, it becomes even longer. Or what I would do is adjust it to sit right here on me. But I've worn it as a crossbody. That's why the crossbody straps are on there because I've already worn it as a crossbody. The bag is absolutely gorgeous. And then one section that I literally just realized that this bag had was a front compartment. The front section, you twist it to open. You open it and there's another little front compartment and you could hide your snacks, your kids' gummy bears that you take, that you steal. Because I know you steal your kids' snacks. You can hide it in this front compartment and they'll never find it. So this is the Balmain BB Buzz bag. I literally recommend this bag. It is the most wearable bag that I probably have bought recently. I wear it all the time. The color goes with a lot of different things. It is a summer bag, but you can take it right into fall with you. It's very wearable, and she is like an unproblematic girl. As long as you don't get things on the canvas, honey, she's ready to ride to dawn with you this bag so let's go to the last item that I bought which you're going to love we're unboxing this together because I have not worn it yet so let's go here we go so we're gonna go ahead and open it I'm just gonna unbox it like this y'all it don't it doesn't matter we're we're past that we're friends now we don't have to do all that we're gonna be super simple so the shoe that I actually wanted was the Chanel dad sandals I just have not seen them at a price point where I would want to buy it, even on the secondary market. If it is on the secondary market, it looks like somebody walked the streets of Jerusalem and they're still selling it for 700 and something dollars. So no, 
I wanted something that was luxury but not that price for the Chanel dad sandals. So I found these when I went to my socks. I went to Louis and my sister has this shoe, but she has another iteration of this shoe. I'll put a pop up a picture of the other version of the shoe, the older version. This one is the one that I think they just came out with and y'all she's your queen to be all right <laughs> so this is the lv sunset comfort flat sandals i am upset this shoe is not leather probably why it's not the price of <laughs> the other shoe the one that i wanted i think this is micro outsole and then of course this is just the coated canvas but I absolutely love the feel of it. It is thick. A lot of sandals that you get are so thin, you might as well just be walking barefoot. Look how thick the sole of the shoe is. So you have a lot of cushion, especially if you're a little bit flat-footed, perfect for you. Again, I haven't worn this shoe, so it is straight out of the box. I love the double strap. I did try it on in store, and I'll put a video to the side. It has gold hardware. It has Louis Vuitton right here. It is Velcro. Ooh, let's hear that. Hey, Okay, show me. So. <laughs> it adjusts if your foot is a little bit wider. It adjusts at the top, and then also Velcro at the bottom that adjusts. It fits like a newborn baby being swaddled if you don't have kids you don't understand but think about going into a hotel room where it's cold and then you get underneath the sheets you pull it off from how they have stuffed it to the side and you wrap yourself in there like a burrito that's how this shoe it wraps you into the gods like it fits your foot like a glove as soon as and the velcro if you heard is strong the force is strong with this Velcro. So if you're looking for a shoe that you can walk around, do errands with, still be cute, walk around the city, go to an event, um, and even go to the beach, because again, you can easily wipe this off, this is a shoe for you. It is so, so cute. And again, it fits amazing. One thing I will say, she's a tough girl. So she's not super bendable, she's not super squishy. If you do have issues with shoes that are firm, get inserts and get soles to put in here to kind of give you like that padding that you want. But for me, sandals, I need my sandals to be firm. I don't like like cushy. For heels, I like the insoles that kind of have like a little bounce to it. But for my sandals, I need you to carry me to the cross. Okay, so I need you to be as firm as possible. And these are super, super duper firm. Should I grab the other one? I just feel like, oh, I just feel like, oh. A lot of people have this shoe in the other version of it. So if you have this shoe, go ahead and comment and let me know. If you have this version of the shoe, let me know how you like it. I just bought it and so far, I mean, I wore it in the store. I haven't worn it yet. But I already know I'm going to like it. I have a pair of Airman sandals that have like this firmness to them too. And I wear them all the time. Hey, let me know. Comment below and let me know if you would like to know some of my favorite sandals. I want to do a video on some of the sandals that I absolutely love. And rank them from 1 to 10 from all price points I'm going to have. So comment and let me know if you want to see that. But so far, I love these sandals. Again, I'm going to probably do a follow-up once I've worn them for a while. I will be taking them to New York with me for Fashion Week. So I'll talk more about it. But if you have the original versions, the older version, comment and let me know how you like it. If you have these, Please let me know how you like it. Okay, y'all, thank you so much for joining me on this part of the internet. If you're not part of my community, please think about hitting that subscribe button. I would love to have you here on my side of the internet. If you're one of my regular lovies, it was so good chatting with you. I will see you next time. Love you. Mean it. <laughs>